welcome back to Path to Wellness with Miriam. And today I have a grocery haul for you, as well as a pantry, fridge, freezer, a tour. So I did a pantry, freezer, fridge tour a while back. And since then I did a huge, huge stock up haul. I really didn't want to post it because I didn't, I don't want to really recommend that people do that with shortages in the groceries, go to the store and buy a ton all at once. But I did it anyway, and this is why. My husband is at boot camp right now, and I wanted to do a big, huge stock up haul so I did not have to bring the kids into the store. So I went to Trader Joe's and Costco. Uh, Trader Joe's does not have pickup. Costco does not deliver to my address um, because I live kind of far away from Costco. So my plan was to stock up on pantry and freezer staples so you will see a lot more food than my previous haul because of what I got there. And then uh, get grocery pickup. So this is the first time I've ever done Walmart pickup. I've never done any kind of grocery pickup at all. It worked great. I don't have a smartphone, and so I thought I couldn't do it. But I was able to do it from my computer at home and then just use my smart, uh, my non-smartphone to just call the number once I arrived and tell them which spot I was in. And it worked out great. So the one thing that I did not get was sweet potatoes. They were out of sweet potatoes. I'm a little disappointed, but I do have some butternut squash, which I'll show you in a little bit. So I do have a nice orange vegetable. So here's my little haul. I got a ton of apples, as you can see. We eat a lot of apples. Like we go through one of these bags in two days, I think. So that's like, a week's worth of apples there. I got a big thing of uh, russet potatoes, a bunch of bananas, well they're like two and a half bunches. So the, the most I could get, I think, I don't know if I got the most I could get or just figured this is how much my girls could eat. Um, they will sometimes eat a lot, like some, they will probably eat that in three or four days. I got some asparagus, uh, pears, and then these Lara bars. Uh, my girls love Lara bars and we eat paleo. So a lot of granola bars and oatmeal bars are out. Anyway, these just have a few ingredients. They are delicious. I know we like this flavor and it's a good deal at Walmart actually to get the boxes of Lara bars. And then I also got markers. This was a substitution. I got the broad tipped, you know, the big fat Crayola markers, but they didn't have them, so they substituted these ones. My girls have not used the Crayola thin markers, um, fine line markers, so we'll see how they like them. I'm hoping the little one doesn't smash the little tip, so we'll see how durable they are anyway. I'm excited about this, so now I'm going to show you the state of all our food. This is left from my husband. Um, as I've explained, I kind of put some foods up there that were just for him. Um, rice and legumes that we are not eating and some flour. Obviously he's gone, so I'm going to have to find a friend that doesn't mind partially open bags of stuff. I have some cooked beef brisket here. I'm trying to freeze meals if I make enough. Um, fish. Here is some soup. I have two things of meatballs. Um, there's my ugly thing of celery. And I have some enchilada sauce back there. Frozen bananas. I have not used since my last video my cilantro in my oil ice cubes. I have some, a jar of chicken broth, and these are sliced mushrooms. I decided to freeze mushrooms. I saw someone else do that, so we'll see how I like them and if they affect the texture. I have a bunch of frozen fruit in here, mangoes, uh, berries, blueberries, and then down here I have more mushrooms, um, 
this is a bone. I make bone broth, so I save the bones. I have some vegetables down here as well as more bone broth. Still the cranberry sauce, flax, flax, and some veggie scraps to make broth with. Here in the fridge, I have some butter. As you know, this is the only dairy we have. Um, some meat for tonight. I bought a whole bunch of sauerkraut. This is really great. If you are trying not to go to the grocery store very often, stock up on sauerkraut. If it's the raw sauerkraut, like it will sit in your fridge um, because it's fermented. It will last a really long time. I have this big jug from Costco that was like, um, this is a few months old and we're still eating off of it. Uh, or a couple months. Anyway, some leftover little um, hamburgers, tiny, tiny little ones, um, leftover potatoes and lettuce. I have some sprouts I bought, some lunch meat. Um, things are kind of chaotic in here. Um, some leftover red cabbage, uh, a couple of drinks, maple syrup, some pickles, some sauce, some more pickles back there. Anyway, I have this old kombucha scoby that I'm not doing anything with. Uh, onions, limes, I have some lettuce in here, and in here, uh, red cabbage and carrots. So that's why I didn't get that many veggies today, because I do have some still. And then here are just some various condiments. Some of these are not strictly paleo. They have some cornstarch or something in there. I'm trying to phase those out. I have some probiotics and fish oil, some kombucha. And then uh, more butter anyway. That's what we have in there. In my last video, I forgot to film this. This is our spice cupboard. I like to get mostly organic spices. There are a few of the spice blends from Trader Joe's, such as this one, that is not organic. Um, I kind of organized this a uh, week or two ago to have more of the spices over here and then the herbs over here um, and then I have extras like that's our salt I put a little bit of salt in this little shaker jar anyway those are our spices and then down below on the counter I have just readily available all our open bottles of oil and this was something else I didn't show so we have some spray avocado oil we have olive oil um, avocado oil apple cider vinegar this is some chili oil my husband usually um, uses this and sesame oil and this is more chili oil and coconut aminos this is what we do instead of soy sauce this is our upstairs pantry it's pretty much I think looking similar to last time I have some various supplements this this is heavenly this chocolatey stuff and I love the coffee flavored the passion fruit is really good but this is just so much better. Anyway, it has coffee oil in it. Um, yeah, so I have various supplements and stuff. These are not supplements. They're a uh, chocolate ghee spread to die for. Anyway, <laughs> um, not really to die for. I still have my smoked salmon. I have raisins, um, chia seeds, hemp hearts. I have some uh, dates. Here's some pecans. I got um, cashew nuts, and back here I just put in old jars, I put some of the things I bought in bulk, uh, which was nice because they were pre-packaged when I went um, and bought some stuff in bulk so I didn't um, have to worry about contamination so much because the employees did it instead of the uh, customers. So macadamia nuts, pumpkin seeds, um, I have some Brazil nuts and uh, cherry. This is what I got as an Easter treat for my kids. I put this in Easter eggs. They're dried cherries. They are sweetened with cane sugar, but I figured this was much healthier than an actual fruit snack since it was um, closer to its original form. Um, we love these Paleo Bites. They're amazing. I get them at the discount grocery store. And I also got these. They are amazing. They're coconut chips. Basically just coconut, coconut nectar, and cacao. And I have some walnuts back there. Oh, and sunflower seeds. This will probably last more than a month, to be honest. 
Um, at least I always hope so. I try not to do too many nets, even though we have tons. Um, I got some honey, and this is dried um, garlic and dried onions. Um, tons of olives. We love snacking on olives. Um, tomatoes. I have more tomatoes downstairs I'll show you. Random condiments. This stuff, I think I showed you in the last thing. I hadn't eaten it yet. Anyway, this is a new jar. I ate the other one. This is so good. It has all these yummy nuts and seeds in there. Even my girl who doesn't like almond butter, she ate this. She dipped her apples in it. This is so good. It has some bigger chunks too. So if you like a chunky mixed nut butter, this is absolutely amazing. Um, canned fish. This is like the only canned meat we eat. I prefer these ones actually. They're in oil. Um, they just taste really nice. I've been feeding them to the kids. These ones I got super cheap at the discount grocery store. I've been eating through them. Anyway, I've eaten about half of them lately. They are a great form of protein. Uh, almond flour and then I have cacao uh, powder and some like gravy thickeners. I'm trying to remember the words like, uh, what are they called? Arrowroot, arrowroot powder. Okay, this is the snack shelf for my kids. I was putting out the full day's worth of snacks and they would literally eat it before breakfast or they would eat it at least before lunch. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting out a morning snack and then an afternoon snack and I put it in here so they get to choose when they want it. I've been reusing these little drawers because I've been eating so much of this chocolatey stuff because I got it on a really good deal, like $1.50. I'll put like nuts in here and I ask them to always put the jars back. Obviously a jar didn't get put back because there's just a lid. Um, that way I will wash the jars and stuff and they're not like all over the house. Um, I have an extra thing of raisins here and almond flour crackers. They're our favorites, but I ration them. And then I have some protein powder that I'm currently not drinking, but thinking, I might do, it does have some rice in there, so it's not paleo. And one of my girls breaks out an eczema with rice, so I'm thinking I might just try it and see how my gut reacts to it. Maybe have it once in a while or pass it on to somebody else. I put my husband's espresso machine down here and we have this thing of garlic that we've had for ages. And let me show you what else my husband got. It's really dirty down here, but he got some really spicy noodles. Yep, that's him. That's totally not paleo, but he doesn't follow the paleo diet. And that's okay, as long as he doesn't feed the kids and he does not feed the kids that stuff. So yeah, and that's what the bottom of my pantry looks like. Yeah, I need to clean that out. Okay, here's downstairs. I reorganized, well, kind of reorganized and have shoved stuff in here. So these three have food in there, okay? And then I have some uh, butternut squash here. I have four. I got four butternut squash. Yeah, I got a lot. Anyway, butternut squash is great because it will last, like here in the in a laundry room, which is a little cool, it will last for months. But anyway, I figured this is a really good paleo pantry staple for right now because if I'm not able to go to the store for any reason, if I'm not able to do pickup, like for example, if I was sick, I wouldn't go at this point in time just because of, you know, there's so much sickness going around and I wouldn't necessarily know if I had the sickness or not. So this is a good pantry staple. Down here, more of that chalky stuff. Yeah, I bought a bunch of it. I stocked up on mustard. I got some more of these waters. They're like flavored waters. For my kids, I haven't actually given them any yet. I figured if we run out of snacks and they're just eating like apples and carrots and they're not very happy that this would be a special treat for them. Um, I still have all that barbecue sauce. We've eaten a couple jars. I still have a lot of it. It's hard for me to open and close these cupboards now because I think because I overloaded the shelf up here. Tomato stuff. Uh, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, crushed tomatoes. Anyway, it's all there. Then I put up in 
here. I can't even open up the jars. Anyway, uh, when I went to Costco two and a half, you might see like three weeks ago, I decided to split up the food for the month versus uh, next month. So separate April's food from May's. So I put April's food upstairs and I put May's food down here just to kind of even it out. I just cram jammed it in here so it's not really organized. Um, so I have tons of olives. Obviously like some of this stuff would go into June but I just didn't know with my husband going to boot camp if um, I got sick, if something happened. I just wanted to have stuff and uh, that's some rice, but we're not gonna eat that. Um, walnuts, more nuts, salmon, got avocado oil, I mean avocado mayo. Um, whoops, I'm dropping stuff. Anyway, cashew nuts, raisins, almond flour so I could bake with it. These are kind of like our staples. And then I got a whole bunch of canned salmon in there and dates. And another thing with that protein powder, I didn't buy that new. Um, I got some peaches in there, you can see. And then I cram jammed this full of applesauce. Uh, this I already had um, prior to the trip. It's uh, oregano leaf in bulk. Um, I bought a bunch of these paleo bites. It's the snacks that I wanted to really space out. Um, sweet plantain chips, more of those coconut chips. I've got more chips back here. Um, plantain chips from Trader Joe's. I got pickles and more pickles, both dill and some sweet pickles that are made with honey. And then some green olives. And then I have extra oil, extra avocado and extra olive oil. And this is just my way of feeling safe. Um, and prepared for if, you know, if I got sick, if I wasn't able to go to the store, if they closed the state border to travel. And then here in our fridge, I ordered some meat because we're really low on meat and I will go pick that up or they will ship it to me. I'm a little unclear. It's some local grass-fed beef. Anyway, this is what I stocked up at Costco with. I got cauliflower, green beans, and then I had some green beans in here. I have some corn that we're not eating that I'm gonna probably give away unless if we decide just to eat corn and go off, kind of semi-off paleo for a little bit. Um, corn is a grain. I have more frozen blueberries and mixed berries and vegetables and some mixed fruit back there. So this is our backup in case if we cannot get fresh produce at the store, um, in case if we're sick. Anyway, I have two roasts. These are rump roasts. And then some country ribs. Uh, I bought some bread for my husband. He ate one loaf and didn't eat this, so I will pass it on to a friend. I know she loves whole grain bread, and this is a whole grain um, Dave's Killer bread. I got this salmon actually at the commissary before my husband left and it is really good wild caught salmon. I was so happy to find this and it was way cheaper there than it is at Sam's Club. Bought a whole chicken and then this, when I went to Costco, they did not have a limit on chicken and so I bought a whole bunch of chicken thighs and I think they're all chicken thighs, maybe some drumsticks. Nope, I think they're all chicken thighs. Anyway, this is kind of our chicken stockpile for a couple months. We have chicken about once or twice a week. And then these are a couple of tenderized blade steaks. I found these little flounder fillets at the discount grocery store. They were really cheap. Um, so I bought a few of those to try. And then I got some ground beef at Costco. Uh, just to hold us over till we pick up our beef order. I still have this for my last um, one. These are all grated zucchini. Uh, these are some ice packs. I have some sausage, onions, bone broth, 
I bought some lunch meat to freeze. This is ham and turkey, no nitrites, no nitrates. No sugar added, uh, gluten-free. This is like as healthy as you can make it, I think. Um, and then I got some paleo bacon. This was amazing to find at the discount grocery store. I literally bought all of this bacon and, and this all at the same time. And then these I think um, I had before. That's kind of an update of my pantry. I guess you kind of saw what I got with my big stock up haul. I also got at that point what we've already eaten is a ton of bananas, a ton of apples, um, some avocados, um, a bunch of little mandarin oranges, and then quite a few vegetables. Our fridge was actually like stockpiled. I got some strawberries too. Like our, our fridge was like full, jam full of like strawberries and vegetables and apples and all kinds of stuff. So definitely a blessing. We are going to enjoy apples. We eat them every single day. Um, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away and I'm really hoping during this time that that is working. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try to, you know, film um, kind of what we're eating and stuff and uh, sharing more about our lifestyle here on my channel. I hope you have a great day and stay well and healthy. Bye.